Hello everybody. In this video, we will study the properties of a cumulative distribution function for a discrete random variable. So uh, we are assuming that x is a um, discrete random variable. With okay, so we fix the values with values. Um, I uh, index the values as x1, x2, x3, up to xn. Uh, well, but I index them so that the values are increasing, like x1 is less, x1 is less than x2, x2 is less, less than x3, and so forth. Then we know that um, the CDF of the, uh, the uh, random variable x is defined by this, probability of x being less than equal to x. And uh, what we want to, in particular, find the relations uh, between CDF and PDF. For example, let's start with f at x1. So this means the probability of x being less than or equal to x1. Uh, x, the only value of x which is less than or equal to x1 is just x1 itself. So this is the same thing as writing x equals to x1, the probability of x equal to x1. But when it is equality, then you know that that is PDF of x. So in the first value, the, the uh, value of x, the CDF and PDF gives us the same value. How about uh, at x2? So probability of x is less than or equal to x2. Well, there are two values less than or equal to x2. x must be either uh, x1 or x2. Well, the first one is f of x1 plus f of x2. And well, this continues, and you see that for any xk, uh, this means that you add PDFs uh, at all the values less than or equal to that. And well, there's also another way of seeing this that you can um, write all the way up to the uh, value of PDF in the previous one. So f of x1 add up to f of x minus 1. Then add the, the new one. This whole thing here gives us the value of CDF at that point plus f of xk. Just by looking at this, this equality, we get, so meaning that f of xk equals to f of xk minus 1 plus f of xk. So we can get uh, most of the properties of uh, CDF just by looking at this, uh, this equality. First thing is that CDF is positive and increasing. f is positive and increasing why is that so why you see that capital f sums of values of pdf and pdf is positive function so you're adding positive numbers so you all get always get positive so maybe the right way to write this is non-negative the, the first one can be zero uh, or some of these ones can be zero okay increasing and uh, well increasing meaning that f of x1 is going to be less than equal f of x2 less than equal to up to f of x why is that so because always we add one positive number to the previous value of cdf to obtain the new value of cdf that's why you always add a little bit and you you get a higher number the second property here is, is that, um, well, if you're looking for um, value of, or maybe I just write it, yes, f of x 
uh, PDF at one point, in other words, probability of X being equal to XK. This is what well, you see. If I take this one to the other side, this will give me F of XK minus F of XK minus 1. So if you, you, you have the value of F at XK and the previous point, you just subtract those values, you would get probability of X being equal to XK. And there is more general version of that. If you're looking for probability of XK, X being between XK and <coughs> a, uh, XI, uh, this is very important to note that this is positive, this is including xk, this is not including xk. This will be uh, given by probability, or let me, let me write it in terms of xk, f at the higher value minus f at lower value. Again, the important thing here is that you note that the inequalities, the higher one is including, the lower one not including. Uh, one more uh, property, this is um, true if you know the nature of the events defined by uh, x. So if you're looking for probability of um, x being bigger than, strictly bigger than xi, this is the same thing as probability of x being less than equal to xi, the complement. That means that we are looking for probability, 1 minus probability of x being less than equal to xi, <coughs> sorry, and that is 1 minus CDF at xi. And these are basically the properties. And you see, all of them are in the, actually from 2 to uh, 4, all of them are in, in the nature that tells you how you can find probabilities defined using X uh, by knowing values of CDF of that random variable. Let's do this in some examples. We have a, <coughs> a random variable uh, X, which only assumes integer values, so only gets uh, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, all those, only on those values. There is no uh, decimal or no, nothing between the integers that x uh, gets. And these values for CDF are given. Now we are looking for probability of x being less than or equal to 6. Just by definition, this is definition of f at 6. And f at 6 is given, 0 0.63. Probability of x being strictly less than 6. So this is not now definition because the definition always have is less than equal. But note that the values of x are only on integer numbers. So uh, 6, 5, 4, 7. So if you're looking for an event which includes all x's which are strictly less than 6, so it will mean that anything less than 6, which are values of um, x. So in that case, the event x less than 6 is the same thing as x less than equal to 5. In other words, we can find probability of x less than equal to 5. Now this is by definition, because it has less than equal, f at 5. And f at 5 is 0, 5. How about probability of x being strictly bigger than 4? This is, pro well, we, we had the, the formula, but let me just write this. This is probability of x less than or equal to 4 complement, and that's 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 4. This guy here is f at 4, so 1 minus f at 4. f at 4 is 0 0.35. And 1 minus that will give us 0 
0.65. Probability of x being less than or equal to 7 is strictly bigger than 2. So this is oh, if this is bigger than less than or equal, this is bigger than, then you can write f at 7 minus f at 2. That will give you that will give you um, the the probability that you you have oh okay so here unfortunately i don't have f at two so the most i can say here is that 0 0.8 uh, minus f at two well whatever the value is you can plug in and find find the value Um, how about probability of x being equal to 5? Um, okay, so, well, this, you can, this is f at 5, the pdf at 5. And pdf at any point is cdf at that point minus cdf at the previous one. cdf at 5 is 0 0.55. Uh, CDF at 4 is 0 0.35 and that will give me 0 0.2 so this is not given and the last one find F at 8 if F at 8 is 0 0.11 so this is PDF this is CDF remember that f at any point is f at the previous point plus the cdf at, at that point so in this case f at 8 is equal to f at 7 plus f at pdf at 7 CDF at uh, 7 is uh, 0 0.8 plus this is PDF at 8 is given 0 0.11. This is 0 0.91. So the upshot is that you are either given CDF or PDF. You have to be able to find probability of all events that can be defined using that random value.